Hello, YouTube friends. This is Cece. It is Sunday, a late Sunday afternoon, and I had a really good day. It's a beautiful day outside. The weather is it's um sunny, a little overcast, and in the 70s. And there's a nice light breeze. Spring is in full effect, and um, because I don't have car insurance. I have not been driving my vehicle, and so today I did not get to go out to the park like I would have normally have done on a day like this. So I decided to hang out with you for a little bit, paint my nails. Well, the truth is you're helping me to get my nails painted and to let them dry properly because I have this horrible habit of running around and not getting, letting my nails properly dry. Then I start doing something else and make my nails and then I'm like, oh shoot. <laughs> my younger sister would tease me all the time about that. So here we are um, talking and I was going to tell you a little bit about my new job. I work at, um, at a massage and facial spa retreat and we do all sorts of massages, everything from deep tissue to uh, Swedish. We have elevations like hot stones that um, are placed on uh, certain parts of your back and your hamstrings to loosen up your muscles and and um, toxins so that the massage therapist can go really, really deep and help you up to uh, loosen up and all that other good stuff. And uh, then there's also a facial massage you can get, and that's where an esthetician really has, she has this lovely little machine, um, and she analyzes your skin and works out a regimen for you, and I do none of that there. Excuse me, I have got an itch on my nose. So sorry, how rude. But in any event, um, I'm a lifestyle consultant, and I talk to people after the therapist, tell them how our program can benefit them so that they can on a regular basis really take care of themselves and it's um it's not really a luxury like some people think massages are um massages are really good for you it's stress management i know when i got my massage it wasn't just oh i was feeling great afterwards because i had loosened up um i lost like range of motion in my neck and um the therapist, when he was done with me, I couldn't move my neck and I didn't realize that I had lost that motion. So um, being able to look around further than I've done in a couple of years was kind of nice. Um, and so that's one of the perks we get. We get a free massage once a month uh, with an elevation so I can get um, foot scrub, which is what I did with mine this month. Uh, which is really nice because they scrub your feet, they put these hot towels on them, they let it sit there for a little bit and they take the scrub off and when they're done taking the scrub off, um, they put oil in your feet, give you a foot massage, it's out of this world. So that was nice. Now you're probably hearing a lot of background noise. I have my windows open today because it's so nice and I live on not really a main street but a a high traffic area because it's a one-way street and um, so people are constantly going down it. This is the first time that some of my neighbors have like actually been all out doing yard work. Uh, the guy across the street's working on his car and um, I know soon it's going to be even more noise going on because the school that is directly across the street from me is going to be torn down and i got to find out what they're going to be doing with it because um, they had a meeting uh, concerning it, and I got an invitation from City Hall to come to the, the meeting to find out what their plans are, and I had to work that night, so I could not make it. And I had not gotten a chance to look online to see what those new plans are. So that's something I've got to do in a couple weeks and find out um, when it's going to start, the demolition, and all that good stuff because I may have to do my blocking or I should say vlogging <laughs> at another location, quieter one. Well, what else should we talk about? Um, 
Oh, I gotta tell you this dumb thing I did yesterday. I was so embarrassed. I was in tears because it was just stupid. I did my little presentation. I got this couple to come in. They got a massage and, you know, the whole treatment, nine yards. And when they come out from getting their massage, they pay for the massage. But before they pay for it, um, me as a, as a lifestyle consultant, I talk to them about what they got done and see if they want to, you know, purchase a membership. So they decided they didn't want to get one at this time. They wanted to do another massage. So I said, well, that's fine, you know. Um, um, and I asked them if they wanted to book now. They're like, no, we'll, we'll book it later. And so I said, okay. And why did I say, okay, well, thanks for coming in and have a nice day. Yeah, that's what I did. Did I say, come to the register now and pay for your massage? No, I let those two walk out. Walk out without paying for the massage. So, like a total fool. And then I tried to call them back. And the phone numbers they gave me weren't their numbers because it didn't connect. So, yeah. It was kind of nice. My boss, she was very understanding and... Well, after she stopped laughing, <laughs> which I was glad she had a good sense of humor about it because I'm sure at some point in a year or so from now that I too will laugh at the ridiculous mistake that I made. But until then, I'm just getting over the embarrassment. Okay, well, let's see. What else should we talk about? Do you guys like this color? It's from... Sinful Colors, and this brand is like everywhere, drug stores, um, hair stores, because it's inexpensive, it's generally $1.99, and the color that I have is called 113 Dream On, and I love it, but it's a, uh, it dries a real matte, and um, it doesn't dry shiny, so you definitely have to use a top coat, which I don't particularly care for, because it almost seems like a stain more than um, an actual polish, but at least it dries fast. And it is sort of like a winter color, I think. What do you think? I think that's a winter color. It's almost like a purpley fuchsia color. Um, and But I don't care. It's pretty, it's bright, it's happy, and it reminds me of a lovely flower, summer flower. And yes, summer is coming soon, even though it's still spring. It's been raining a lot, and when it is nice, it's been extremely hot, so it makes me think summer is going to come hard and fast, long and hot and humid. So, um, that would be something to get used to and have to deal with. But for now, while it, we're having the comfortable summer weather within our spring, I am going to paint my nails a happy summer color. Where some of you will probably say, Carlin, that's a fall color. But that's okay. Yeah, so I spent the afternoon when I got out of services today and I watched a number of YouTube videos and I watched this girl named Evelina. Evelina is a Russian expat. I think she lives in Washington, D.C. or Maybe she lives in California. I'm not real sure. But she does some beautiful DIYs. And she, I saw a video of hers, it was an older video, where she had made this clutch and she applied on it um, a comic book design and a vintage bold paper. And it was just so cute and it was so simple. You know, she used this polka dot lining fabric. On the outside of the white vinyl bag, she applied with decoupage the design and also um, iron-on paper so that it would stick to the vinyl and put a little zipper in there. I mean, cute as a button. It was so cute. I'm so going to make it. And she had another um, one where she had gotten these beautiful bead bracelets. And then another one, the last one of hers I watched, is where she took one of those hard body clutches and put a, a mosaic design of beadwork on it um, to kind of replicate this $1,200 designer bag that she loved and wanted to make. And so that's something else I thought about doing um, maybe towards the fall. 
hopefully the hard body clutches will still be in because <laughs> I'm not sure whether or not the clutch is going to be something that's going to stay a couple years or fade out. Um, you know, clutches can be sometimes impractical. They're great as far as looking fashionable, but not great as in looking fashionable and carrying all the necessities that you need. All right, well, I think I have talked enough to you. My nails are dry, and um, I bought these really cheap batteries at Dollar Tree, and it looks like the batteries are just about to run out. So I'm going to take this lovely video, and I'm going to edit it and um, put it up for you guys to check out. Like if you like it, and thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me on this lazy Sunday afternoon. And uh, I will see you next time. Smile.